What's good YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. It's your boy Mr. NBA 2K and this is going to be a passing tutorial video and I wanted to do this before I do my pick and roll tutorial video because they basically go hand in hand. So when 2K17 first came out I was making a lot of turnovers and I was using the icon pass so that wasn't making any sense to me. But then I realized 2K added these new passing options for a reason. So now I'm going to show you guys how you could use three different passing options to get easy points and cut down on turnovers. So the first one we have is the lob pass. So as you guys are going to see here, we get a mismatch with Kyrie and Luol Dang off of a pick and roll. And I make a regular pass and sure enough, Kyrie steal the ball. Now this is where you needed to do a lob pass. Let me show you why. So this is a similar situation. We're going to get another mismatch with Kyrie and Luol Dang. We're going to wait until Luol Dang establishes position and then do a lob pass with Y. Now as you can see, the only reason Luol Dang catches this ball is because he is taller than Kyrie. So in situations like this, that is when you need to do a lob pass. Do not make this pass around big defenders because the pass is pretty slow and they can reach it. Also, you do not want to make this pass when someone is cutting to the basket. As you can see, Luol Deng is wide open for a little bit. But because the pass is so slow, Tristan Thompson just comes in and steals the ball. So you only want to make this pass when you have your big against a small defender and they are side by side. Then you make a lob pass and you go up for two easy points. The second passing option we have is a bounce pass and it is my favorite to use out of a pick and roll because bigs can't really get it because they have a slow reaction time. So here we try to make a regular entry pass out of a pick and roll and as you can see Tristan Thompson is going to pick this ball off. So what we should have done in a situation like this is a bounce pass, now let me show you why. As you can see we get a pick and roll and here is the bounce pass. The reason why this pass works is because the pass is pretty low and um, big defenders they don't really have that good of a reaction time. As you're going to see, Tristan Thompson is going to try to reach him, but he's pretty slow, so we get two points on that. So basically, anytime you have a big chasing down the roller, you want to do a bounce pass. It's pretty effective. You're going to get away with it a lot. And a bounce pass is pretty OP. Because, I mean, if you look right here, this pass is going to make it, and that pass has no business making it in there. And now for the last, and one of my favorite passes to make out of a pick and roll is the jump pass. Look at how high LeBron gets on this pass. Which one of these guys is stealing this ball? Ain't nobody stealing this ball. That's why I really like to use this pass and I use it a lot. The jump pass is pretty effective. It's way more effective than a lob pass because you're going to get it over the head of the defenders in front of you and it's way faster than the lob pass. As you can see, Shining Fry tries to steal it but because the pass is so fast, he doesn't reach it in time. This pass is also more effective than a bounce pass because as you can see here, two players are standing in front of LeBron. If he was to make a bounce pass, it would probably hit their legs. But look at how high he gets on this pass. He makes the pass to Kyrie, DeAndre comes over, and I kick it to Tristan Thompson in the corner. I don't know what he's doing out there, but at least he makes the shot for me. Do not make this pass when the bigger defender is chasing down the roller because it's going to be a turnover. As you can see here, this should have been a bounce pass. It's a big chasing your roller, so it should have been a bounce pass. Only make this pass when these players are in front of you. As you can see in these two pictures, the difference is you only want to make the pass to go over their heads. You don't want to make a bounce pass because it can touch your leg. You don't want to make a lob pass because it can get picked off. So that is where you use the jump pass. So that's it for the video, you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it. You don't have to change what you're doing when it comes to passing. If you're not making that much turnovers, then you could keep doing what you're doing. But just these are just a few tips for when I put on my pick and roll tutorial so you guys know what to do in what situation. Also, I don't know if you guys noticed, but Steve Nash is not an NBA 2K17. I was looking for him on the 0405 Phoenix Suns and the 0203 Dallas Mavericks, and he's not in the game. But yeah, that's it for the video. I hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.